Sam had a huge personality, a large smile, and loved life. We were a close-knit family. Yeah, especially the three of us. We were definitely always there for each other. We, like, it was not just me. I had two more parts of me. And now, there's a part missing. The night that Sam died, he called my husband and I and, um, at like two in the morning, and um, he calls to tell us that he's in trouble. And so we said, well, we'll be there in the morning. Is that okay? And he said, yes. And so we ended the call, and then a couple hours later, I received the call from the state trooper that he had taken his life. The grief will never truly go away. I just miss Sam. He was always genuinely happy. Always felt like he was genuinely happy. You never really knew of Sam to be sad. You just didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't either. I didn't know that Sam needed me. I didn't know that. I didn't think that he did. I think you'll hear that from a lot of people. We just hope to save some lives. And, and train the people in the community to be able to know how to react and what to say to someone that may be suffering. <laughs>